Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna do a little bit of a different video today. So today my hair is drying. I'm working the night shift, so I don't have to go into work until later today because I actually have an interview over Skype a little bit later this morning. So I'm doing my hair this morning and I've never like explained or talked about like my hairstyling routine because my hair is fairly curly. I'll throw some pictures up right here just so you can see like how poofy and how curly it can get. But as you've seen in the majority of my videos, I have straight hair. So this is just my hair care routine. I've been fine tuning it for years. I only wash my hair about twice a week max because I can't fry my hair that often, even though I do use a lot of like protecting products and you know, good shampoos and conditioners. So we'll jump in first to what products that I use and then I'll show you how I blow dry and straighten my hair. Also, ignore this, it's not there. It's like this weird like cyst thing that comes back like twice a year and then it just chills for a couple weeks and then it goes away, so. I just had to pop up right when I've got a whole bunch of Skype interviews. Oh, and my Sephora interview, yeah. But you know what, at the end of the day, it just showed how good I was at my makeup and how well I was able to cover it up and they were really impressed and I'm pretty sure I got that job. So so your girl's probably gonna start working part-time at Sephora soon. That looked horrible. Anyway, let's jump into it. Okay, so the lighting in here isn't that great. I'm downstairs where I do all my hair because I don't have the right outlets upstairs in the attic. Um, so I wash my hair in the shower and after I get out, I throw two products in immediately and I let it air dry for as long as I really can. I don't want to blow dry it when it's like soaking wet that that's you'll fry your hair so you want to let it dry as long as you can that way you're not blow drying completely soaking wet hair um so the first thing that I throw in is my bio silk silk therapy I get it at TJ Maxx it's a lot cheaper there I typically focus this from like the ears down I don't want to put this like right on my scalp and then everywhere I'll go in with the Tresemme heat tamer it's like just a little spray I spray this everywhere make sure i work it in make sure you get underneath it it's heat protection up to 450 which is what my straightener goes up to i don't ever put it that high i normally stick to about 400 for my straightener but i put that on i let it air dry for as long as possible and then i get my hair ready for blow drying so i have to section it just because it's that thick so we'll take out the headband i just use these little clips from sephora so let's see. So the first thing I do is I take a big section on the top of my head, just about that size, and I clip this in the center of my head. Like that. Then I pull, I split my hair in the back, and I pull it to the front so I have all my hair right here. Make sure it's secure up top. You want to do the wiggle test. There we go. Then I split these bundles in half. Just like that. And then I swoop this. Pin it up top. And always do the wiggle test. Make sure you do the wiggle test. There we go. And this is the part I call the Marie Antoinette. Just because everything's pinned up and you get the... I do this a lot and I have to entertain myself a lot, so I like to, this is what I do. <laughs> so for tools, they're covered in hair, so please forgive me. I have a round like paddle brush kind of thing. This is great. What I use to actually like straighten it as I'm blow drying is a gigantic round brush. This is ceramic and ion. I think I got this at Ulta. Yeah, it's a ceramic and iron tourmaline brush. It has to be big because I have a lot of hair. So if you don't have as much hair as I do, you can go for like a smaller round brush. I used to use this when I had bangs. I used to have like straight across bangs and I would have to use the smaller one to do that. But since I don't have the bangs, I just go for the big brush. If I'm going for like a, a different kind of like wispy kind of style, I could use the smaller brush, but it takes a lot longer. If I'm doing my normal like, you know, every week, you're just blow drying it straight, just get out of the way. The big brush is the way to go. And then you start blow drying.
that's it. So overall this takes me about, the actual like blow drying process takes about 20 minutes. And then the straightening is really quick. It took me like, you know, five minutes. But the actual like letting your hair air dry, which I think is really important. You don't want to do this straight on to soaking wet hair because you're going to burn all your hair right off. But that takes, I try to just let it go as long as I can, but you don't want it bone dry when you start. So the best time to start would probably be like half an hour to 45 minutes after you wash your hair, depending on how thick your hair is. If your hair is a little bit thinner but curly, you might be able to only wait like 20 minutes after your shower to jump right in and start blow drying it. But my hair is really thick and it does take a while to dry. Like if I don't do any of this and I let my hair air dry, it'll probably take a couple of hours to fully dry and then it'll poof this way. So poofy curly. <laughs> but that's everything that I do. I try not to do this more than once or twice a week at max. Since my hair is so thick and it doesn't really get oily, it gets dry. Um, so I can just do different styles. I use dry shampoo at night when it gets closer to when I'm actually going to go wash it again. So if you guys want to see like a full video on like my hair like lifespan for the week, I'd be more than happy to do that as well if you're interested. But this is how I like to style my hair. So thank you for watching. I know it was a little bit of a different video, but I hope you liked it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see any more videos in the future. And I hope I'll see you in my next one. Bye.